What's up everyone? First off, let me start off by saying thank you for the warm welcome back. It was good to have a lot of you guys watching my video again. And uh, yeah, let's not stop where we started. So we'll continue right on with the flow. And uh, I think today, let's start off with the ring light. Let's, let's unbox that ring light and then we'll do the aquarium co-op uh, unboxing as well. So let's see what kind of difference the ring light makes with this video. So you can see what it looks like now to something more like this, where I got plenty of light you can see me a lot better, so I can film better in the nighttime, daytime, it doesn't matter. It should become very useful to me. And uh, yeah, it makes uh, things on the camera a lot easier too because one of the most important aspects when you're not dealing with a nicer camera is uh, lighting because it starts to get grainy as uh, the, the lighting goes down. So as long as you got good light, your quality of your video and your pictures will be a lot better. Now you're gonna have to excuse the mess. Uh, the moving process it feels like a never-ending process. It's been a good two months and I brought some more stuff out of storage and now my garage is kind of cluttered again. So back to it. So what did I order? See for me, I can get a lot of stuff here in Florida, no problem. Now, Aquarium Co-op on the other hand though, or Corey, uh, has provided a lot of YouTube content for us. And I wanted to show thanks by purchasing his product. Because Corey's a great guy. I've learned a lot from him. He's kept me motivated in the fish hobby, which I really appreciate because it's not. You know, sometimes things don't go right in the fish hobby and you get a little tired of it and uh, you want to take a break. But uh, yeah, watching the videos of him and other fish tubers out there has really kept me motivated. So thanks you guys out there to do it. And I hope I do the same for some people out there. Maybe I'll keep you guys motivated to keep doing what you're doing with your fish. So first, let's go with the shirt, right? I got the goldfish shirt. I'm a big fan of these colors, these black and red colors. So that's kind of why I went to the goldfish shirt instead of the, uh, the Murphy shirt, because we all love Murphy, right? But I'm a Bucks fan, so you know I'm gonna go black and red. But uh. Yeah, a really sweet design by, uh, what was his name? I can't remember his name now. Uh, drawing a blank, but he was uh, he used to do the real fish talk with Corey, and he did a great job with the artwork on this one. Then the second item I purchased is his small fish fry food. Uh, one, this container is genius, right? I mean, if I'm gonna have a fish room, I'm gonna wanna be able to feed fast. And uh, having a little squeeze bottle like this, it's pretty cool, I think, to have around. Um, so yeah, this is small fish fry food. Super easy to feed. Floats, then sinks. So I'm really excited to get to use this. And I hope the fish love it. I mean, Corey's tried it on a lot of his fish, so. And when you own a fish store, I imagine you know what, what works best. So excited to try this fish food, and I'll let you guys know how it works. Oh, one last thing before we go. I wanted to share with you guys uh, something I do when I don't want my plants to mix and I've had like, for example, I got this uh, willow moss, but I can't put it in my tank because I got java moss. I don't want them to mix because they definitely will mix. Um, so until I get a tank free, what I'll do sometimes is I'll do like the gerarium type deal, you know, I'll just get one of these vases, they're real cheap, you know, uh, I'll put a little dirt at the bottom, I'm going to cap it off, Oop. and then fill up with water and then I could throw in this moss and I'll save it until I can do something with it. Uh, sometimes I put it in a window, sometimes I put it outside. Uh, if you put it outside though, be, be careful, especially with like moss, put it in direct sunlight, more than likely you're going to get uh, overrun with algae and uh, yeah, you want to want to throw it away rather than pick it off. Don't mind me though, I'm just going to build this real quick. Are you watching Daddy on YouTube? Uh, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Now the fun part about dirt, if you don't pre-rinse it or cap it really well, you're always going to get stuff floating in there. Just to be expected at first. But, 
when it's dirt cheap. What? And just like that, I got my willow moss in there. Nice milky colored water, but I even put some a little bit of prime in there because I don't know if chlorine affects plants, but I always put prime in there because I had that one incident where my plants turned white on me. Still don't know what happened there. And now I'll just put it outside and my fresh new threads. Yeah. Get out of there. Get out of there. Alright, maybe he'll float to the top. <laughs>